<laughs> G'day folks, welcome to Big B TV. Great to have you with us, Division 2 yeah. Men and Women. Four rounds to go. Hey, some big news. Big, big news, yeah. Punch that button because I'll tell you what. September 20. If you if you have anything locked in for September 20 right now, weddings. Uh, if you're getting married on September 20, no. cancel the wedding. Overseas trip. But don't go. Don't leave. You've got to be in one spot. And funeral. That is, forget it. <laughs> Even if it's like, you know, <laughs> ask her to put it off a week if it's a funeral. Yeah. Just, just, it's on September. Us. On us. <laughs> <laughs> September 20, mark it down. It is the awards night. It is. Be. And but new it venues. Just, it's not just any awards. No, no, no it's the awards night where you all talk while we try and present some trophies. Yeah, it's fun. Um, <laughs> they won't be talking as long this year. It's got, we, well, we don't get to talk anyway, mate. We just turn the microphones <laughs> off after three minutes. Hey, it's got a new venue and it is. A Racker. Here we go. Eddie Had Stadium. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Snap. Mm. Yep. Victory Room, Eddie Had Stadium. Uh, views over the Docklands Harbour, the Balti Bridge. Views over, over the footy field. Views over the footy yep. field. Tony Lockett will be there for some yes. kick. Tony Lockett. Yeah, he'll be there for some kick. One to kick. Tony yeah. Lockett. Yeah, don't do that. Um, Trick, hey, I cannot believe you. That is, that, is, that is great news, seriously. Yeah. Uh, it's close to it needed trains, it. trains, it needed buses, it. It needed it everything. Pressure. Yep, like yeah, it. and we're going to. Um, Eddie Had. We're going to revamp the format a bit, so you're yeah. not going to have to be sitting through as long a presentation. It's going to be phenomenal. So, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Hey, but let's get... Hey, hey, mind you, we do our best, considering an awards night is when you give out awards. No, nah, you just drag it on, you two. <laughs> oh, my God. I probably couldn't Don't speak. Hey, four hours, because these two like the sound of their own voice. Hey, idiot, you know what? <laughs> oh. you, know, you know what? This year, uh. we're going to give you the job of reading out and presenting, what is there, 120 awards just like or something? Your just like your job here is the ladders, we're going to say, and Nathan's going to read out the nominations yes. now. Thank you, Nathan. Mate, and you'll be like, there's four million awards. All star for... <laughs> Division 2 women, Eddie had stayed in. Oh, hey, the other big news, yes. let's mention it right now, right, because absolutely. Fair goes back yes. on board for the Grand Final Series. Come on. Finals, uh, grand, sorry, Grand Final Series this yes. year, Fair goes sport, back on board. Um, promoting gender and sexual equality like in it. sport, and particularly basketball. Yes. It's going to be fan Inclusive environment. Yeah. Um, partnering with the Victorian Government, the Equal Opportunity Commission, Basketball Victorian, name drop it, name bang, bang, drop. Hey. bang, 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 hey. exciting stuff. Rainbow socks. Yes. How good were those? They were, were they were in rampant. Yes, and last the rainbow year. ref tops. They were awesome. Oh yeah, nice. Nice. Anyway, yeah. Division two women. Designed. Let's go. Division no. two women. Hey. Oh, what a game to start. Oh, Bushies. Bushies got to win. And uh, might have hurt Mornington. Well, I think Mornington is in yeah, a done. world mm, of pain right now. Great win for the world Bushies. Pressure pain. now on Mornington to make the finals. They are a, a little too. bit behind these days. Twenty-three to seven last quarter by the Bushies got the win. They shot nine of fourteen in the last quarter, while Breakers shot just two of eighteen. Very cold fourth. Keep talking. Uh, Stacey Brown, I can do that. Yep. Stacey Brown, 20 points. I learned from the best. Rachel, <laughs> Rachel Jeffrey had 13 and 9. Holly Bowden, I suppose, 13 and 8. Yeah. Hey, Hill. You mean you suppose? Well, Bowden or Bowden or. Borden. Borden. Yeah. Tian Hill had 12 points for great Mornington. For yeah, yes. he, uh, a great win. Um, this is just their third win of the year. Huge ramifications. And, uh, for the yeah. Potentially. Well, oh, what a, a, a missed opportunity. Massive ramifications. And, Get uh, out of here. I'll tell you what, Trevor Lee's an ugly looking guy too. <laughs> well, in his, uh, He's in my bad books. Hey, I've got something for you. Hey, let me just come back to that in a moment. There's some news down at the Breakers. Okay, so let me yeah. come back to that. I'm just looking up some news. Uh, let's go down to Casey Saturday night. I was at this game. Yeah, oh, the news, the, sorry, the news for uh, the Breakers, Cherie Johnson Ooh. has done an ACL. Oh, no. Yep, so I hope... Uh, she bounces back pretty hard, but she's going to be out for well, all Horrible the best, for her, horrible. All the best to show you with her rehab, Absolutely. and we hope to see her back. In the horrible game. for yeah. her, horrible yeah. for the team. No doubt about it. Um, Casey, 70, here. defeated Shepard in 69. Take us through it. Great finish to this game. Cavs keep their finals hope, uh, hopes alive with a 21-9 to 9 last quarter. Gators only came to town with six players. Spoke to their team manager before the game. Gave her the match program, and it was just bang, bang, bang. Why? Injuries, illness, all sorts of stuff. That they, they Juan are, Carlo got lost. On the yeah, way. they just um, were unable to get uh, a team on the floor. Well, uh, more than six on they the floor. They did all right then, mate. They Jeez, did credit to right. Yeah. I could not believe it. We talked about the fact that Cavs had to run, get them into foul trouble, all that sort of stuff. Shepparton took everything in their stride. They were up by as much as 15 points with a couple of minutes to go in the third quarter. 
they were 15. Were they just buggered at the end? Uh, they, they were tied, yeah. and the scoring dried up in the last quarter. I thought Jess Selig, uh, her matchup on Rihanna Barton in the last quarter was fantastic. Yeah. It certainly slowed Rihanna down. Sure. Um, Cavs won the rebounds 52 to 38. They escaped considering they shot 5 of 18 from the Ooh. foul line. It was really poor Kept shooting. Kept the Gators in it, didn't Sammy it? Johnson, 13 points. Natalie Dowdy yeah. played a ripper. 12 no, points cool. and 12 yeah. rebounds. She was very good in that, cool. Dowdy. Rihanna Barton, 22 and 9. Marnie Sharp had 17. Shepparton should have won the game. They yeah. just they just couldn't get it done down the street. You're stretch. in the box with someone special, though. Yes, oh, absolutely. Joining me in the commentary team was Mocky. Oh, awesome. Great Happy to see. Uh, she was yeah. very Fantastic. good, too. She, she was there for the women's and men's game. Boy, uh, she can't play. Play? Well, no, no, she's in a break. No, she's in a break. Summer break. If she did that last. No, week. putting the heels up. Yeah, no. Uh, hey, what I will say about Mocky because she's she's playing with the Idaho Vandals, which yep. is where Stacey Barr is, yep. and where Geraldine McCorkle is going. Really, so real, oh, wow. real Aussie flavour. Oh, over the Idaho yeah. uh, Vandals. Yeah, Great. so there you go. Um, I said last week Casey would win this game, and they got out of jail. I'll tell you that right they now. They win, got yeah. out of jail, but they got the win. They won't make the finals. I still, say they convinced. I still say they won't make yeah, it. Yeah, the one win outside uh, of the Would you two like to take us into the next game while I sit back and bark? Sure, Justin's oh, all so the glory. Yes. Here we go. Just read Justin's it. team, the Melbourne Uni Black Angels, oh. defeated the team that I tipped to win the title, Chelsea, 75-73. to Chelsea led by two points of 24 seconds to play, but the Black Angels scored the last four points of the game to get the win. Caitlin McKenzie had 30 points at 65%, 15 oh. rebounds, three trays. Katrina Massey, 30 Four points. to eight. Taught her everything she knows. No, I'm sure, jeez. 13 <laughs> points, <has> <laughs> 15 rebounds and five blocks. Jasmine Lovejoy played really well for Chelsea. 28 yeah. points, 20 rebounds. Lee Wilkins, 17 points. It looked like it would have been an absolute yeah. game. Who cares? <laughs> but we've but. We got text messages about this, Facebook messages about this. You I know, saw it. There was a thing in the sky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Melbourne Uni all the way with Justin Nelson. He's on the bandwagon. Yes. Full credit to the Black Angels. So that's a really good, win. <laughs> really good win. Well, hey, it, you know what though? Mm. How, how have you guys not seen Melbourne Uni coming? I've been banging on about them for weeks. How many have they won in a row? Five. How have you two not seen this coming? Would you like to respond? Oh, because, you know, tipping Chelsea, who are 10 No, 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 no. I'm not taking that away from you. Mm. But for a few weeks now, you two have been saying, no, 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 no. Don't know my what question mark, my, my question mark was whether they're good enough offensively to do some damage. They dropped 75 that's points today, and that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, that'll be the question mark. That's the only thing stopping them. They're the best, one of the best defensive teams in the league. It but still does not get you. you did two women this way. Either of you, it does not get you an invite to the end of season toga party. No, I don't want to go so anyway. If I've got to see you, hey, hey. To see you in a toga, hey, count no. me out. Yeah. You do want to go, trust me. Keysbridge 60. <laughs> you do want count to go. Get it out. Like get it out. out. <laughs> Keysbridge 67. Oh, yes. <laughs> Beat Blackburn 59. Uh, huge win, another disappointing game for the Vikes, but take nothing away from Keezy. We're, we're not going to talk about it. No, we're, we're not going to talk about it. No, no, they suck. No, I, no, oh, no, no, no. I built them up no. last week. Wow. No, no, I built them up last week. They had a couple of really good games. Really good games. They were Western. sensational against Western Port. Well, they were fantastic against Western Port, and then they come out and they dish this up. Four in a row lost. Um, <laughs> Keezy store home in the 22 to 8 last quarter. Now, listen to this. This Only is a big stat. <laughs> For the team, was that for the team? For the team, big uh -huh. step. They really cut things down this week, which is fantastic to see. Only uh, the turnover count was at a lowly 23. And then now, uh, listen, don't take that lightly, because no, you're I'm taking the piss. No, I can see your face. <laughs> no, you're wrong. I I want to give these girls credit. It's 23 times and, now. Uh, I know, and they won the game. I want to give Keysborough Cougars. Credit because I will never credit the team for turning the ball over 23 times. No, you will never just because it's down from 36 or whatever they got the other week. Hey, I'm with you. Talk it, to it, no, 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 you know, just you've got to stop talk speaking to for a minute because no, I'm being I'm being dead set serious. Last week we gave it to the Keezy Cougars for 41 turnovers, did we not? Yeah. And we told and we yeah and we told them to go away and work on it because 41 wasn't good enough. Yeah. Well. They did go away and work on it. Yeah. It was less, and they got up and won. So I'm giving the Cougars credit yeah, where I credit's agree. due because nice I job, think easy. it is their best win of the season. Yep. Good on yeah, and I reckon they it deserve is. a massive pat on the yes, back. Yes, they do. Right. Absolutely. Good. Spot on. Yeah. Don't tell the ball over so much. Hey, did we say Lucinda Johnson? No, no, 14 and 9 same. and 5 assists. Yeah, give him a chance. And 4 triples. 4 triples. Tomorrow, <laughs> Booth, 13 and 12. Rebecca Cunningham at 14. Amanda Gamalongi, 10 points, 19 boards, and 5. 
Five assists. Five assists. Gammers. Yeah, and but what about this? The job they did on Tarabahana. Tarabahana went missing. Three points. Three points. Oh. MIA. Hey, well done to Kingsborough. Yeah. And great defensive effort. And Blackburn have gone to the bottom of the ladder with that loss. And I continue to say they're just they've disappointed me. That's where they belong. Well, no, it's not. That's exactly you what I'm saying. Okay, they don't. You wouldn't say that. that. They that. don't belong but there. You don't just go out I know. I know that. What I'm saying is they don't belong there. They should be better than that, and they would be devastated at that loss. But all credit to Keysborough. Yeah, well, definitely. Ladder, top of the table. Western Port are eleven and three. At Melbourne Uni right behind them. There, ten and three. Would you say Just, right behind them? Yeah, one Chelsea. five in a row. Come on. Chelsea, my tip, ten and three. Coburg nine and four. I think mine's Western That's Port. The, so I think yeah, we're, we're all yeah. someone different. That's the top four. Casey is still in at ten and five. Mornington still in at eight and five. They've lost their last two. Yeah, not looking good at the moment. They're done. Shepherd and four and eleven. North East three and twelve. Casey three and twelve. Blackburn two and twelve. They've lost their last four and are sole holders at the bottom spot. Uh, I don't think top four change. Round fifteen. You suck at ding, ding, ding. Melbourne Uni take on Moy tonight. How can you go past the irresistible Black well, Angels? Well, how can you go past the right team? Because you've been going past them for the weeks. Black Angels are our team. I love, love them. Yeah. Love them. We've got two okay. shots. Yeah. All three of us Mornington are going for the Black on Angels. The line. If Mornington don't win this, they're, they're yeah, Mornington won't win this. No, no, I don't think they will. Won't win it. No, I agree. Keezy versus North East. Oh, well, both, two teams coming off a win. Uh, two teams that are yeah. coming off a win. But I'm telling you now, Keysborough will win that game. I'm telling you. Keysborough will win that game. You know what? No, they won't. <laughs> Who are you going for? 50-50, so home team, Keezy. Yeah. I think it's a cop-out. No, I know how we no, say it's... we're not sure and we just go to home team. Yeah, I think it's a cop-out reason. You, you know you know yeah. what you need to learn? You know what you need to learn? No, you know what you need to learn? It's just easy then. Is that you I don't know? need to learn anything. I'm 23. I know everything. Oh, yes. I know everything there is to know. And I'm also <laughs> invincible. We, oh, yes. <laughs> we give teams that are down and not playing well. We give them stick. That's what we do. Because we try and pump up and get them up. It's but cool. when they're up and they deliver, Show them some bloody love. Raise the banner. Well done, Keys. I did. I did to Northeast Bush Rangers. They're going to go two in a row. They'll beat Keezy. Western Port. Casey. Casey's season finishes this week. It Western does. Port. Great call. Uh, Blackburn Coburg. I'm not allowed to tip. Now go. Who are you going for? Western Port. Okay. Oh, okay. Co- Coburg. Man. Coburg to beat Blackburn. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, is the, the, that, that, is, that is the most predictable game of the round. Coburg to beat Blackburn. Leave one. Easily. Did two men. North East Bush Rangers 82 and knocked off Mornington 80, 76. Bushies. Bushies get a great win despite yep. shooting just 16 to 30 on their own rings. Yep, I agree. Oh, well, from the foul line. From yeah, the foul sorry, line. from the foul line. I think it's worse when you do it at home. Like, you know, it is worse. Familiar hey, well, well done, Bushies. No Josh McKay. We know he's out injured for the season. Great work. 20 to 8 start by the Bushies. John Lind, who's had a very good season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been yeah. very good. 18 points, 4 assists, 4 steals. Dylan Webb had 15 and 9. Demarcus Berry, been a good form player. Yes. 23 and 9. Joshua um, Watt had 17 yep. and 6. Life Got on. a message from our mates up at North East on the Saturday night. Well, mm. don't just say from our mates. Who's that? Wendy, Wendy, Jeffrey. Oh, oh Wendy. Yeah. Is that Rachel's mum? Yes. And she's like Hang a on, delegate yeah. and all things is, North East Bush Rangers up there, Wendy. Is, is Wendy a friend of the show? Yeah. And that's Rachel's mum? Yeah. Oh, I'm going. Sure. I'm going for. It's not, for it's not a Tarantino. Well, hang on, hang on. I'm going for North East Bush <laughs> Rangers to beat you this weekend. But I'm sorry. First Wendy. time, North East of what? Oh, Wendy. She's a friend of the show. So you no, it's, it's Wendy. It's, it's Wendy <laughs> Jeffrey. It's Rachel's mum. Keys in your loop. Oh, it's Rachel's mum. Just because she's a friend of the show. I've story. already picked him. Okay, good. You're on, you're on fire then. <laughs> well, Wendy, yeah. Go on. Give us the um, message. No, it's, yeah. a very, it's the first oh. time Bush Rangers have had a double home win. They both teams beat Mormon. They would be too. Yeah, since this year. Good so start. Great. Thanks for pointing that out. Windy and Macca. Not Windy, Windy. Windy. I said you windy. said Windy. It's been Windy. <laughs> Oakley 69 knocked up a Western Port 63 in a shootout hey, between two of the competition's shootout. best scorers. Yes. Would have been um, great to say. Listen, have a listen to this. <laughs> have a listen to this. The, sal- the salami had 38 of Oakley 69. <laughs> oh, listen, to listen to this one. Listen to this one. Hendricks had the guitar man had 41 of Western Port 63. The rest of the team chimed in for 22. They're just like, there's many. Well, Jacob Coleman, Bok had 
12 and 13. Yeah. Ben Adams had 13 and 7 for the Steelers. Uh, d- uh, despite the score, I'm a little bit low, but 69 63, that's fine. To the fans that are down to this game, it would have been fantastic. It would have been an absolute spectacle. They probably guarded each other's score. That's what they used to do in the old days. Oakley have had some decent crowds this season, and I reckon in their first season in the comp, they're continuing to increase. Success. And it doesn't stop there for the weekend for Oakley. They are back in business. Yeah, they are. Boys are back in town. Packing back in town. They are. And packing them are back in business. They're up inside the top four now because Keelor had the week off. Packing them. 73 defeated Maccabi 63 in the Warriors Cup. Warriors. No, Warriors. Warriors. Jim Vray. He's joined. Jim Vray had 23 points. Andrew Savage. Savage. Savage it's had 18 a... points and 10 rebounds. Benji to me 24 points, 18 rebounds for Benji <laughs> and Benji. five steals. He's very good, but Packard got the win, and they are still in the hunt. Yep, they're right in the mix. Casey 69 knockoff. Shepard in 63. Who's there? Tell us. It was a great game. Yeah. First of all, cracking game of basketball and played in two halves. Mm-hmm. Shepard in the Often is. <laughs> yeah, or four quarters. Yeah. <laughs> Shepard in, in the first half looked really slick in offense. Yeah. Moved the ball well. Spacing was terrific. Yep. Um, hurt uh, Casey off the weak side, especially the outside jumpers as yep. well. They looked very, very good. Went in half time up, and I thought, you know what, if they keep playing like that in offense, they're going to go home winners. Keysborough came, sorry, Keysborough. Casey came out after half time, yep. held Shepparton to 24 yeah, points in the great. second half. Nice. Locked them down. Matty Bartlett was held to 11 points, 4 of 19 shooting. Um, <sighs> Do that, go a long way to win the ball games. Michael Batley had an yeah, absolute batters. ripper. Defensively, yeah. sensational. The tattoo lane on, on, on yeah. uh, Bartlett. Uh, he just, He's a cop. Just, he is, they call him Sarge. Call him, yeah, call do him Sarge. Yeah, nice. Terrific game. Um, uh, I thought um, uh, Zalek, Brad Zalek, very, very good yeah. defensively as well. Yeah. Steve Mikelski, very good yeah, defensively. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. just shut uh, the Gators down yeah, after uh, halftime. Matt Witherden. Matt Witherden. Matt Witherden had uh, 25.7 rebounds, four steals, six trays. His last tray was a four point play. Six trays. Knocked is out. Is he out Six. Not, six yeah. steps. He Mate, he is the dynamite. Yeah, yeah, knocked out right. of court on a three pointer that he made down the stretch. Brad Mikowski hit a massive three down the stretch as well. How was the crowd when he knocked that uh, <laughs> They they still loud down there. Lost it. They got eight droppings down. That's there. great. They, they got it. It's good. Uh, Matt Pabol had 13 points and 13 rebounds. Johnny Lewis 17, 15. The import for Shepard and very good 17, 15. Dylan Wayman on his uh, oh, former court. Yeah. He was yeah. hitting shots. He was blowing the Casey bench kisses. Oh. oh. 14 points for Dylan. Imagine they playing the graph final. Uh, it, it, it was a cracking game and no disrespect to Casey. Yeah. These two teams will play off in the grand final. Great, they're the best. Two I think you're yeah, right too. Great. Really good game. Coburg uh, on oh, Sunday. Oh, the big Maccabi, 72 to 68. Yep. Sim Emmanuel had a big one, 20 points, eight boards. Mark Rigoni, double double, 10 and 13. Yep. Benji Tamia, another good game, 19 and 8. Pretty usual for him at yep. the moment. This season's been great. Daniel Dressel had a great game, 18 points and 7 rebounds. Yep, very, very good. Shepparton, 97. Bounce back. Bounce back really quickly. Back on their home floor, defeated Mornington, 87. Not bad. Have a listen to what the Stars the did is. without the same level of defense that Casey put on. Yeah, the yeah. Matt Marler, 26 points, 8 boards, 3 trays. John Lewis, 21 points, 8 boards. Matty Waits, 17 points. Big difference yep. there. Demarcus Berry, 20 points and four trays. And oh, Jake! Peg. I mean, Anthony. Anthony Peg. Peg's good young player. 20 points, four trays. Kate Eden. Missing a H. <laughs> anyway, missing a H. And, and, and uh, a lead. Third lead. And, uh, <laughs> four trays. You guys are crazy. Good win to <laughs> Shepard and but. Um, After five years, you still some of this stuff would slow down, wouldn't you? <laughs> Especially when they're the same jokes. Oh, I know. You've been saying that since Peggy was in Youth 2, man. Oh, no, he's man. really had, seriously. Hey, oh, no. If we disappoint I saw him in the line at the um, at the awards night the other year. Did you yeah. chuckle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, he had no idea what was going on. I don't think you can remember. Um, because, so, so, who are yeah. you? He said. Who, for which team variety, you played for? For a variety of reasons. Um, Keysborough 67 he went. went down. Did you mention Kate Egan? Sorry, you did, didn't you? Kate Egan, um, 18 yeah. points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Um, good Keys- bloke. Good bloke. Good, good, great bloke. Great bloke. Great bloke. Uh, Cats fan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have fun with that Keys- this season. Go on. Go the days. Come on. Why? Don't just hurry up. They won't be the flag. Shut up. Come on. Yeah, dynasty's over. Just you know. wait and see. Oh. Keys for 67, knock off Oakley no, 79. No. Got knocked off. Got knocked off by Oakley 79. Oakley won both of them. Sorry, it's just my expectation. Great right? win for the Warriors. Yeah, huge win. Both, both of them uh, this weekend. And listen to this. Cabana, the 
fair weekend. He, uh, <laughs> Preston, I'm the of the century. He had 80 points this weekend because he had 42 <laughs> today, 10 boards, 7 assists, and Jacob Coleman, Jay- Robin. Yeah. Robin. Robin. Yeah, Robin. Yeah, 23 and 8. Yeah. You know what I like about his um, and Oh, no. Who? JCB? Andrew K. Barnes. Yeah, go. 7 assists. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's huge. I'm going to make a big statement in a moment. And uh, Jackson helped. 15 and 13, no Kevin Ben. No, 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 no. Ben 10 didn't play. Um, here's my big statement, is that the games it is? It's a miracle, here we go. I've been talking about Matty Bartlett for MVP all season. It's gone, you done. Uh, uh, no, no, the no, torch no, has no, been... no, 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 I think he's going to be right up there. I think he'll be very much up there. I think Andrew Caban might... God, he's got to be close. I think, <laughs> the, the, I think he might have overtaken What you got to look at is, where would Oakley be if they didn't have him? Yeah, and start digging. Yeah, start digging. I agree. I, I think out. I think Caban. <laughs> if you're talking about the MVP being the best individual performer and most valuable to most team. valuable individual player of the competition, <coughs> Salami. I reckon okay. the Salami gets yeah. it. And well done to Bobby Man for finding him. I don't know where he did. Yeah, where he yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a very good player, though. Oh, but I reckon I reckon the Salami has probably just slipped past him. Yep. I think the Salami slipped. He's past just him. shaved by. <laughs> yes. Uh, can you do the last please? <laughs> Listen to them giggling at each other. Oh, yeah. Hey, you nice one, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Casey, 13 and 2, they've won five in a row, looking really good. Shepard and 14 and 3. Casey, 12 and 5. Yep. Packing them in fourth, 10 and 7. Radio, uh, oh. that's the top four. Oh, that's why I said in fourth. Okay, here we go. So, packing them 10 and 7 in yep. fourth. Now, give us the rest. The Thunder, Kilo, 9 and 7. Go Oakley, ahead. 8 and 7. Two games. They've yeah. won three in a row. The Warriors. Coburg 6 and 10, Westernport 5 and 11, Mornington 4 and 12, The Bushies 4 and 12, Maccabi 3 and 12. Radio, let's get into it. Round 15 is Saturday. Oakley take on Mornington. I, think, get it. I think Oakley, Andrew yeah. Caban will defeat Mornington. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Shepparton Maccabi. I think Shepparton Shep- will win at home yeah. against Benji Tamir. Sunday, Keysborough Northeast the Bush Rangers. I think Keysy will bounce yep. back and okay. win against the Bushies, but a very big hello to uh, Wendy Jeffrey. Yep. <laughs> uh, and also to Macca. What's his name? Scotty, Sammy, Scotty, Sammy, Scotty, yeah, Scotty, Sammy, Sammy, Sammy McDonald, Macca. Very, uh, we like the Bushies, but are they going to get pumped this week? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry, Don't hold back, you're getting pumped. The Western Port will host the Cavaliers. Uh, the Cavs will win that. They they are, are good. They're, they're legit. They're in, no in, joke. You know what they are? The, the Cavs, they're a team. Mm, that's nice. that's what I like about them. And Stewie well Bear, coached. Really Stewie well coached. Bear coaches them really, yeah, well. really well. Good guy, good yep. team, Agreed. and they are they are on their way to a title. The way they're playing, Kilo Coburg, Kilo have to win to keep their finals hopes alive. I'm They'll get Coburg. it. I'm Kilo. They had a week off. They're fresh. Going to jump. They're fresh. Nice and fresh. I get it. Oh come on, Kilo. No. I'm Tim and Coburg. This is, uh, I, said this, I said this. I said this two weeks ago. Why? I said this two weeks ago with Kilo oh, and Danger and Games, and yeah. they lost. And there's another one now. This is yeah. a massive Danger Game for Kilo. There's too much on the line for Kilo, and, and that's why it's on the line da- for Coburg. And, and that's why Coburg's going right. to just come out. The Thunder will get it. I'm going to go Kilo to win at home. I think you're trying to outsmart yourself. I think Kilo will. Hey. Uh, so oh, just don't hurt yourself in the process. <laughs> I would have trouble outsmarting a three-legged ant, mate. So make no mistake, I'm not trying to outsmart Keelor or Coburg. I think Keelor get it, but it is a danger. All right. Eddie has Stadium, Saturday, September the 20th. Book it oh, in just now. Book it. Early bird okay. coming up soon. Uh, check the website. And uh, I think you'll find that the uh, uh, the awards night, I think you'll find it will be fancy dress, AFL football thing. Yes. Where so your jumper. Kick to kick with yep. either. Where your, your favourite team's jumper. Yep. I think it's going to be Last year it was jockey. <laughs> it was jockeys. You were the only one that turned up wearing a jockey outfit. His voice still hasn't dropped. <laughs> hasn't dropped. See you next week. Where's that voice going? Here you go, <laughs> See you.